This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by the LG G3. What's going on guys, I'm Mark Linsanger from Techno Buffalo, and it's been about two weeks since iOS 8 publicly launched and it included a lot of new features such as third-party keyboard support, third-party app extensions, and widgets and notification center. But today we'll be showing you guys our top five keyboards for iOS 8, so let's not waste any more of your time and jump into the video. The first one on the list is SwiftKey. It was one of my favorite keyboard for Android and has quickly become my favorite keyboard on iOS 8. SwiftKey essentially learns a lot from your writing style and terminology and integrates this with the best predictive text on any keyboard. Start typing your address and once you've done that once or twice, it automatically predict each line so that entering that in the future will take seconds. And the same goes for email signatures, signing off your name, and or duplication of common sentences. It's really accurate whether you're swipe typing or tap typing it has the best recognition I've seen on a keyboard so far. You can choose to use a dark theme or a light theme through SwiftKey's own app, and there's also SwiftKey Cloud, their own very cloud-enabled Google or Facebook connected storage service, which allows the app to save what it's learned about you so you don't have to start training the app from scratch on other devices. And the best part about SwiftKey is that it's free, so you can download it now via the App Store. The next one on the list is Minium. It's another Android keyboard that was quick to launch for iOS as soon as the door was open. Minium's goal is to keep your keyboard as small and unobtrusive as possible, and keep your screen as open and clear so you can see what you're reading or the fields you're typing in. You can blow the keyboard up to standard size and use it that way, which is probably the easiest for everybody, but the two-line super minimal version is what makes this keyboard unique. It pretty much takes up next to no space at the bottom of your screen, and I have a 6 Plus, so I don't really need a minimalistic keyboard, but if you have a device that's not an iPad or a 6 Plus, I'd give the minimalistic design a try. It does take a little bit of time getting used to, but once you're familiar with it, it's pretty fast and easy to use. Its predictive text engine is good enough to correct any errors, and like other keyboards, it learns from you as you type, and gives you a custom dictionary you can add words to, which is kind of cool. There are also power gestures, so you can swipe up to bring the full keyboard and swipe down for the minimal view, swipe left to delete the previous word, and swipe right to add a space. Minium is available via the App Store for $2, and I know that seems pretty steep for a third-party keyboard, but if you're looking for something minimalistic, I'd give Minium a try. Third one on the list is Swipe. Swipe is the original swipe-to-type keyboard and made waves when it launched on Android by offering users a whole new way of typing that didn't really involve tapping individual tiny virtual buttons. Swipe is pretty much just like SwiftKey, and if you've used both before on Android, then you know how it performs. Both are very similar in terms of functionality, they both have swipe to type, predictive text, but Swipe as of now offers more themes and has its own personal dictionary that you can load up with custom words that you frequently say, and you can tell it to automatically learn those words without you having to manually add them. Swipe is available via the App Store for 99 cents. Let's take a quick break from this video and thank our friends over at LG. We love smartphones, and the LG G3 is our highest reviewed Android smartphone. John said it's the best smartphone he's used, and I agree. It's equipped with a 5.5 inch Quad HD screen that looks absolutely gorgeous, there's a built-in laser autofocus for super fast focus, and the G3's camera is just one of the best we've tried. The LG G3 is available in all major carriers, so check it out and give the LG G3 a shot. Next one on the list is TouchPal. We actually took a closer look at TouchPal when it was still in its alpha build. It's probably one of the more stock looking keyboards for iOS 8. It's very similar to iOS's stock keyboard and also has the ability to swipe to type like SwiftKey and Swipe. And there are also a few other gestures built in as well, like swiping up for numbers, down for symbols, and swiping left to delete words. TouchPal is the only one on this list that has swipe to type and emojis built in, which if you're like me and you love using emojis and the ability to swipe to type, then TouchPal would probably be the one you'd want to use. Unfortunately, TouchPal's swipe to type feature is a bit too odd for our taste. Unlike swipe and swift key, words won't automatically show up until you press the space to actually commit it to the line and start the next one. It is a bit off-putting, but that aside, it's a pretty solid keyboard and it's completely free, so if you want to give TouchPal a try, you can grab it via the App Store. The last one on this list is another keyboard that started out on Android. Now, Flesky has been out for quite some time now for iOS, but as a standalone text processing app. Flesky is a little more unique than SwiftKey and Swipe. Although it doesn't offer swipe to type, it does use gestures for other things, like erasing an entire word with just one back swipe across the keyboard, or replace the words you entered with one of Flesky's suggestions by swiping down on the keyboard. It offers emojis just like TouchPal, which is great, and just like other keyboards that I mentioned, Flesky can connect to either Facebook, Gmail, 
email and Twitter to learn more about your typing style. And Flesky offers quite a few customization options too, like 12 colorful themes, six which you'll have to pay for, and three size options for your keyboard, which can be pretty handy. Flesky is only 99 cents, so give it a try and let us know what you think. Anyways, that's it for this video, guys. If you guys have any suggestions on which keyboards we should try out next, just let us know in the comments down below. And as always, I'm Mark Lindsegan from Techno Buffalo. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys like what you watch, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're also on Twitch, so make sure to check us out at twitch.tv slash technobuffalo and see us play some video games every now and then.